Michael Knowles hosts The Michael Knowles Show, and he joins me now. Michael, always great to have you here. Good to see you. All right, so let's start with the nickname. What, I know it's dated. What do you think? Smart move, bad move, turn on, turn off to voters. What do you make of it? What? Pete Worry? I think this is the king of branding striking again. <laughs> it's a brutal nickname, primarily because it's so funny and it's so visual. When you see those two together, you cannot help but laugh. It is a dated reference. Pete Buttigieg was right. He responded in probably the best way that he could, which is to say, I've never heard of it and you're an old man or something like that. I was always a Mad Magazine fan as a kid. Most millennials probably won't get the reference, but it, who cares? Donald Trump is the president of the United States. States. Now that he has said it, everyone gets the reference. And the reason that we're all still talking about it is because it's a very accurate comparison. Most people hadn't thought about it before. And unlike Alfred E. Newman, I think Pete Buttigieg should worry. You know, Michael, since Buttigieg entered the scene, one person who's been having some trouble is Beto O'Rourke, which is why Beto is now planning a reintroduction as 2020 buzzes around. I, wa I want to get to this AP headline. Uh, Beto O'Rourke plans reintroduction as 2020 buzz fizzles. Okay, so is this going to work? Do you have a shot to come out of the gate, kind of flub it a bit, and then say, oh, hold on a second, I'm going to reintroduce myself to the world, maybe stop standing on countertops in my shoes, maybe some new tactics. Is this going to work, or is he done? I'm sorry, that name, Beto O'Rourke, it's just not ringing a bell. He's that guy <laughs> who may be lost in Texas. I, Pete Buttigieg is absolutely eating his lunch. Uh, and the reason for that is that Buttigieg is in every way the better version of Beto O'Rourke. He's smarter, he's better educated, he's more likable, he's got executive experience, and he can uh, check off another box on the intersectional victimhood pyramid. He's just much better than Beto, and so Beto has fizzled away. The best chance that Beto has now is to convince Iowa voters that he has a legitimate chance of bringing those electoral votes from Texas over in a general election. It's a hard case to make. Mm -hmm. It's a distant case to make. I think Beto probably is not coming back. Now, what about Ocasio-Cortez? You know, she's very passionate on social media. She appeals to young voters a lot. There's been a lot of talk of a potential for her to endorse either Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren. Take a listen to what she said, and I want to get your reaction. What I w would like to see in a presidential candidate is one that has a coherent uh, worldview and logic uh, from which all these policy proposals are coming forward. I think Senator Sanders has that. I also think Senator Warren has that. You think you will endorse during the Democratic primaries? I'm, I'm entertaining, but it's not going to be for a while. Now, could be great in a primary, but what about in a general election if you have AOC's endorsement, good or bad? The video that you weren't showing is Bernie and Liz Warren saying, no, please, whatever you do, don't endorse us. I wouldn't wish an AOC endorsement on my worst enemy. It's true that we all can't help but talk about her and read about her. But when you look at the actual polling in the state of New York, in AOC's own home state, left of Lenin, she is less popular than Donald Trump. It would be very difficult for her. So I'm hoping that she endorses Bernie Sanders because Liz Warren appears to be basically out of this race. She's barely registering in polls. Obviously, that could change, but I wouldn't bet on it. Bernie Sanders does stand a legitimate chance in this primary, and therefore, he stands a legitimate chance in the general election. So come on, AOC, go for it. Endorse <laughs> Bernie, please. You never know what the voter, you know, the, the social media is powerful now, though. Those young voters really, really like her. So someone like Sanders may be saying, you know what? Maybe I hook into those young voters really well with an AOC. You never know, Michael. But thanks for being here. I appreciate it. She does your, do fairly yeah. well with millennials. She does. She does <laughs> really well, you. and she's on the air. Snapchat, the Instagram, all that stuff. So thanks so much for being here. Really appreciate it. And we'll obviously have more for you when you see you again soon.